thing you have to do is check in and... Okay, so we're here. Chinese garden. Mm -hmm. There's also the Japanese. And I'm very appreciated for your helping uh, mm. with my um, application for the mm. offer in my master degree. You helped me a lot, actually. Oh, that's nice. I'm really glad you got in and you just have such a great adventure ahead. I know you'll do well in your MBA program. Without your help, I can't do it, actually. Oh, oh I don't think so. So how long have you been a teacher in oh, the US? Um, I started in Japan, so I taught for two years in Japan, and then I did some other work for a while. Teaching here in the U.S. about nine years now. Mm -hmm. Nine years. Yeah, about eight or nine years. And I've been with American English College, where we met, mm -hmm. uh, for about eight years. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time. Well, I'm their longest teacher there. <laughs> <laughs> you look so young, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you. What's the teacher job here looks like? Are you interested in English teaching or teaching in general, like for schools? So that it, many kinds of exactly, yeah, exactly. Um, so, for example, I teach at a language school, mm -hmm. and then I also have private lessons, um, and I've also taught at the university level as an adjunct professor. Those are all part-time jobs. So that's one so, way to do it. <laughs> so that will be have a full-time and you, people also right. can do a part-time job in teacher? It's very difficult um, if you teach adults to get a full-time position. Colleges, for example, they'll hire you to teach a few classes. Mm -hmm. That's not a full-time job, mm -hmm. right? So the university classes I was teaching business English. Mm -hmm. and also kind of like a structure of English mm -hmm. class. Um, that's when I also started teaching at American English College. Mm -hmm. So those classes are in the morning, the university classes might be later in the day, mm -hmm. and then um, private lessons, if you teach children, they're in school during the day, so you have to wait till about 3.30 when they're available, mm -hmm. right? So you can't teach kids in the morning because they're at school. Yes, yeah. So um, I like the variety. For me, that works great. Mm -hmm. But um, if you teach full-time at an American school, um, you get much better pay and you get better benefits, mm -hmm. right? Um, you get paid vacation and you don't have to take all these extra jobs. Uh, yeah, part-time would be more flexible. Right. For example, with my private lessons, um, I can take a week off if American English College is, you know, between their quarters, they have a one-week break. Mm -hmm. So I just tell the private lessons, you know, you can control your schedule a lot better. Mm. Normal teacher, they would teach in the school, maybe university. To teach at a university, the best way is you should have a PhD. Once you have a doctoral, doctorate degree, then you get the real professor position. <laughs> if you have a master's like me, you're more likely to get adjunct, and that's part-time. It's hard to make a living as an adjunct professor. Uh -huh. They only give you a few classes. If I have a PhD, like I have friends who are uh, associate professors or um, tenured professors, so they got a PhD in their mm -hmm. um, area of study. And then um, they actually only teach a few classes, but they also do more counseling or they do academic mm -hmm. administrative work. Mm -hmm. um, it's, more universities are also hiring the adjuncts, adjunct professors. So those are the part-time, mm -hmm. part-time workers. And it's harder. You don't make as much money. <laughs> it's you yeah. know, uh, but you get the flexibility. So so there's pros and cons. Uh, what I found at the college where I was teaching before, um, I would just go teach and leave. Mm -hmm. Nobody. You know, nobody paid any attention to me. Whereas I think if you're a full-time, you know, full-time professor, you're going to go to meetings. You know, you're going to have more yeah. say in the program, like what courses are being offered. So now I'm, I'm just teaching two classes a day for mm -hmm. the school, and so then kids, I teach two or three kids a day in the afternoon. Wow! And it sounds like you, you worked a lot of hours for a day. How many hours right. for one day? Now, yeah, more than ten hours. Well, 
I would say now it's more like seven or eight hours, seven. like a regular job. Yeah. The first year of COVID, really, really busy. first year of COVID, I was teaching three classes a day at AEC, and those are all different subjects. They're not like, when you teach at a public school, let's say you're a math teacher or an English teacher, you prepare your lesson mm -hmm. and you repeat it two or three times. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. It's every class is a different class with a different so we need book. To I'm Every class you have to prepare, job. exactly. Yeah. And then online, you have to create the worksheet and post it on Google Classroom, and then the students, yeah. you know, post their homework. Also you have to had a home. <laughs> go back and look at it, check it, post the grades, they go back to the school website, and then you have to post attendance, yes. class person. There's a lot of online work outside yeah, of the classroom. Maybe you, after this class, you also need to work for that. Right. So I figured out, I thought, well, I think each class at AEC, I'm really working 10 hours a week. Mm -hmm. So that's three classes, that's 30 hours. And then I was teaching in the afternoon at the, at the like I mentioned, the first year of COVID, all the schools were online. Parents were really looking for help with their kids. Mm -hmm. So at that time I had about 10, 10 private lessons a week. Mm -hmm. Each kid is about one hour online so that's in the afternoon from about 3 30 to 6 30 that time period and then eat dinner then prepare my lessons for the next morning check homework <laughs> so it's like it's basically like all day i thought i have to i have to cut back a little bit so i cut the school back down to two classes and that's working better yeah <laughs> it's super busy it's just too much you know too much So if someone like to be a teacher, uh, is there any certificate or degree in American? Yeah, you should have at least a master's degree. At least master's. Right. Um, but someone just um, maybe bachelor is not enough. Bachelor's? Bachelor's? You know, I hear right now it's getting easier to get a job because of the stress that teachers were under during COVID, a lot of teachers have quit. Mm -hmm. And schools need teachers, so they're starting to, they have like temporary break from the uh, rules, so they're uh -huh. quickly trying to hire. Uh -huh. Even I heard they might be hiring military soldiers, like army, <laughs> like temporarily <laughs> teach temporary. the classes for kids. But yeah, well, you really should have um, also a teaching credential. And mm -hmm. uh, for example, so the state of California, that's a state level certificate. It, it could take about a year just oh. to get that. Yeah, yeah, you should be. You should go through advanced classes at a university or um, so and. Is it for school. English teacher or what kind of teacher? Any public school, public school oh, system. Public school. So any subject, um, they have general teachers and then they have specialty mm -hmm. subject areas. So there's different kinds of credentials you can get. Okay. I don't have the teaching credential, so I can't. Um, I would not be able to work at a public school with kids until mm -hmm. I get that. Mm -hmm. um, or you can work as a, as a substitute teacher without the credential. You know, in so China, we we, you also need an, a language certificate, like Mandarin certificate. Mm. So is that teacher right. needs the English? Oh. Some kind of like language certificate? I don't think so. So you're saying in China, to teach in China, you have to show you speak Chinese? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Because we That's have different language, oh, especially okay. local language, to pass the uh, regular Mandarin, they can speak formal, and so they can to be they a teacher. They have to demonstrate they can do that. Yes. Okay. I haven't heard of that language requirement, but mm. I, I hate to say no because I, I might just not know. Oh, I should mention with English teaching, um, if you want to work at a language school, they mm -hmm. usually require, they would like to see a degree in English or linguistics um, um, or education, yeah. something related. Yes. Um, also, some people get a certificate program. They have like TEFL or TOEFL, mm, uh, kind of like teaching English as a foreign language is the TEFL. Yeah, uh, so you if show someone, like you study that. teacher want to teach the different major, they require the different majors. Right. Yeah. So it's like that. That sounds American sense English sense. College. Usually, um, like most language schools, they're gonna they're gonna look for that if you've done an additional training for teaching English. Mm -hmm. it's, just because you speak English doesn't mean you can teach language. It's not the same, <laughs> right? Skill set. So yeah. Um, 
So, so that's really recommended, and it's not hard to do that. Um, there's a lot of good programs online. Mm -hmm. People can get that online. Um, but best is if you actually have a chance to go in a classroom and practice with students. Mm -hmm. That's where you really learn. So when someone asks you what's your job or what's your position, you oh. say I'm a teacher. What, what people will think about you? That's a funny question because <laughs> I think people usually are very, oh, that's nice, they're positive. Yeah, positive but, and more with that, right? <laughs> but um, we see on the news, parents are asking a lot of questions about what's happening in the classroom and who's choosing the books oh. and um, <laughs> you know what are you talking about in the classroom they, they're also very critical they oh, can some be. yeah some parents so, were critical about it yeah because they're like well what are you teaching my child so i think there's kind of a little bit of a both i think people appreciate that you're working with kids but if you're working with their kids, <laughs> they yeah. might, they, you know, well, and that's to be fair, they want to know what you're teaching their children. I, I understand that. I think with teaching, it's, um, every day is a little bit different, you know, so it's a job where I think people appreciate as you get older, you have more experience. Mm -hmm. Some jobs, it's very difficult as you get older, like technology focused yeah, jobs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think with education, people appreciate that experience. Mm -hmm. so How much for one hour for private school? It depends if you're online or go to their house. Mm -hmm. So I know someone right now who is teaching kids in their home. I think the parents pay her $45 an hour. Mm -hmm. But that includes time to drive to their house and back. Teaches the kid for one hour, but really she spends an hour and a half. I charge less because I'm on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Online is easy. Online is very easy, mm -hmm. right. I prefer that now because I have the flexibility and the parents like it too. If I teach business English, I can I can charge more if I'm teaching adults. How much will, will, will your teacher earn in a one month? Oh gosh. It, it, it's <laughs> it up depends to you. a lot. Yeah, it really is up to you how many hours you want to work. Um, mm -hmm. It's not a lot of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not a high earning job. Um, I mean, you could easily make 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, mm -hmm. depending on your private lessons, but the time of day is the limit. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in China, Taiwan, or Hong Kong? I spent three days in Taiwan, actually in Taipei at that time. Uh -huh. And um, I spent two days at the National Museum, and that was incredible. <laughs> the art there, treasures from China from 3,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago. I could not believe uh, the advanced level of art and culture. I was amazed. I was like, I'm coming back the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I have a great impression. Um, mm -hmm. I, I did go to China, but only Beijing. That, that's, yeah, it's the capital city. Um, I really enjoyed going to uh, Tiananmen Square. I really enjoy working with Chinese students. I, th I think we have a lot of similarities, actually, America oh, and really? China. The Chinese are very friendly people. They like to have, they like to joke around, They're more relaxed. What do you think the difference of Chinese people of American? Friends? Some differences? Yeah. I learned from my boyfriend who comes from a Chinese family, even though uh. he's American, born <laughs> here. Uh, the saying, um, if you don't love money, money doesn't love you. <laughs> so there tends to be a little more focus on money mm -hmm. among the Chinese, a little more focus on uh, finding a career that pays well and thinking yes. about what you're doing with your money. Uh, Americans are a little more like follow your heart. Yes. More yes. likely to, to be an artist or yeah, it's I not agree that we don't use. We do have that pressure too, of course, to earn money. More willing to kind of take a chance on something, mm -hmm. um, to be a dancer or athlete or you know. Yeah, I agree. I agree with try you. Yeah, this for this point. Um, like Chinese New Year, uh, we say "Gong Xi Fa Cai." That means I wish you be rich. <laughs> so, <laughs> we so we <laughs> maybe that's, and that's the a great thing. We hope we are rich. Yeah, uh, I do see a difference with children. The the mm -hmm. kids that I tutor, I teach Chinese Chinese kids, Korean kids. Mm -hmm. They are working very hard after school. Mm. Um, they don't just have an English tutor. 
they have a math tutor, uh -huh. coding, uh -huh. they do computer coding, they might be in sports. Uh -huh. um, the parents are thinking about college applications. Mm -hmm. And so they're very focused on building those skills. Yeah. Um, I think American <laughs> kids have a little more free time uh -huh. to maybe just spend with their friends and it's not scheduled so much, but um, they also play a lot of sports. Do you have any suggestion for those people who want to learn English well? You have to um, make some friends. Now, students who came here during COVID era, mm -hmm. you had a very hard time. We have groups like meetups, anything you're interested in, hiking, mm -hmm. photography, language exchange. Mm -hmm. And these are people who are all looking to make friends and mm -hmm. practice their language skills. Like. And I, I made some good friends through meetup. Mm -hmm. um, and before COVID hit, I wanted to practice my language skills. I've studied German, for example. So mm -hmm. I was going to, sometimes to the German, German, German people. Like, group, mm -hmm. and people just you know meet at a restaurant and just practice. That's a yes, that's a really yes, nice way, and it's a free activity. Yeah, just you know to win. <laughs> yeah, I can yes, learn exactly. English and also a hobby to right. make friends. That's, yeah, that's right. Good. And make some friends. The best way is just speaking with people. Mm -hmm. um, you can't learn language really from a book. You have to use it. Try it. You know, it's okay if you make mistakes and just yes, start talking. Yeah, just, yeah, I think most Asian people, it's hard to open their mouths to speak <laughs> English. You know? right. Yeah, it's also really hard for me uh, at the first, and when I speak to uh, local English people, I'm afraid to make some mistakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so there's, you shouldn't this worry is a big about that. problem, I think. Yeah, don't worry about that. Useful How many languages you can speak? Oh, just a little German and some Japanese. You have so many apps now you can use. I really recommend watching American TV. Um, watching TV. Movies. Movies. There's so much online and you can put the subtitles <laughs> if you have a hard time catching the English, like it's very fast. Yeah, yes. Turn on the English subtitles and mm -hmm. you can see it. Mm -hmm. And you can even pause, repeat, mm -hmm. like listen, try to repeat yes. after that. You That's can, a good way. Yeah, if you go on to, I have Hulu, Netflix, mm -hmm. you know, these different channels, Disney, listen repeat. and repeat. I think sometimes TV shows may be a little easier, like Friends, okay? Friends was a very popular TV show. So you, you know the characters, you understand this, the basic story or situation, mm -hmm. um, and they speak a little slower. Mm -hmm. Whereas a movie, there's a lot of action, they're driving a car, there's, things are exploding. Uh, you might not understand what's mm -hmm. happening as well as... Next time you could say, you know, like last night we went to a restaurant and, uh -huh. uh, and you know, it's very common for the server to talk a little more with the customer. Mm -hmm. So you say, oh, it's such a nice night, isn't it? Or, uh, oh, yeah. what do you recommend? See if they'll talk a little try, more. Try to be more. Yeah, I think just be, be brave. You also have an uh, MBA program before. So oh, yeah. do you have That's any true. word for me? Oh. I'm a new, I'm a freshman. <laughs> to go to oh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> At Pepperdine, where I got my MBA, everything was group activities. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. You can't just go home, write a paper, you're fit. No. No. You have to share the document and do it together with a group, and everybody mm -hmm. was working. Their policy is everything is group because in the real world, at your whatever your job is, Walking. usually is with other people. Mm -hmm. They're like, in real working situation, you almost never get to just write a report and turn it in. I used to be. So <laughs> yeah, I'll study in university. Just yeah, most time yeah, I do so like, by myself. Read your book, type it. Um, I'm not saying that there's no work, no jobs like that, but I'm just saying that that's their policy. So Pepperdine, their mm -hmm. idea was. You have to develop your social skills and be able to work with other people. And, you know, everybody's busy and you have to learn how to work together. Yeah, I heard that in the United States, it's easy to enter to the university, but if you want to mm. graduate, it could be very hard. It's a lot it's, of work. Yeah. Right? The question is, how much do your grades matter? Do you really want to get all A's? You have to think about that. Um, mm -hmm. Is anyone going to see my grades? Do I just need the degree? Mm -hmm. Maybe no one will ever look at your grades. So also, I, I just heard you going to build a website. What's the website for? Those parents, 
they hear about me through their friend, they, they trust me. But if I want to get new families, they don't know anything, a little bit about my background, mm -hmm. and they can see, okay, what subjects I'm teaching. Yeah, I hope so. More and more students who want to study English can learn with you. You are the that. best teacher to <laughs> teach English I have ever know. Yeah. And I paid her to say that. No, I did not. <laughs> uh, I did not. Um, no. You know, we try. I have to say, teachers, we try. Some days are great. We feel like, yes, my class was so successful. Another day, you're like, that activity didn't go well. The longer you teach, you learn more situations, mm -hmm. more different personalities. And I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? This is the original house. Nice. But smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? Big Boy Painting is world famous They just went back after 100 years It's painted by uh, Gatesville in England If I could stop the time, don't you know Each president gets one official painting This is the artist that did the famous Obama painting this moment, Can we stay here forever? Forever, forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever Forever 谢谢大家，如果你喜欢这个视频的话，请务必订阅、点赞、转发，这会对我们有很大帮助。